Hi, welcome to Air Engine Research. Today I'm going to have a short video where I've been working on making all the parts for my latest uh, three-cylinder air engine, which I call Model Y, because it looks like a Y kind of turned upside down. Anyway, I've I've made the parts and I'm ready to try my first assembly on putting just the parts together for one cylinder and as I'll say later on in the video it will be eventually a three cylinder air engine but for now I'll let you see the parts and you can kind of watch for a while if you want me putting things together so let's just get going with the video Today I'm working on some of the items that has to be made. This is this will be eventually a, another one of the rotary things for a, a different engine when I finally get it worked out. And this is the back plate for the motor. And this was the first one that I had kind of designed out but that wasn't working very well so I had to change it and make it to meet the requirements for the new setup that I finally decided on and just some of my mess that I have in the garage when I work in here you can see parts and pieces laying around but eventually I do get things put together and figured out. So I'll just continue working on it today. <clears throat> well I have my base now made for the three cylinder and that's what it looks like. I have to put the uh, bearings and stuff in so they go one in the back, one in the front, and then the cylinder fits on there like so. I've got a little locking plate that goes on. Line that up kind of. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, that was my... That's the slider valve part. That fits in here. center bearing for the rotator and in the back losing my parts Spacer. And then I gotta put this on. If I don't lose everything.
and then I got a balancer that goes on. Let's see where I've got my opposite up at the top oh that's Like that worked pretty good. Okay. And my next project is putting the spider valve and stuff in it. Come on, softer. Didn't expect that to be happening, <laughs> but you just have to loosen it up. A little bit close quarters right there, so you just have to fight with it a little bit to get that thing started, I guess. Well, 
Come on, Butterfingers. Yeah, I got it. Nope, I see something there. It's going to be a problem if I don't do it right. i got to have a little spacer because of the because of this bolt here. That, that'll be gone though later when I uh, have the shaft welded to the back of this. I don't have that right now. So for now I'm going to put this spacer in here. this on there might be a better way of doing this but for right now that's how I did it short a nut. had all the parts that I needed but evidently I don't so I'm gonna have to pause it and then go get a nut for that so come back in a minute and start it again well I was lucky I found one in the other room so I can go ahead and finish putting this together I think least it looks like it will fit. Ah, but it's one of those lock nuts. So that's no good. I can't put it on. It's too tight. So I have to go out in the garage. Well, I'm back. I've got the extra little bolt and a nut thought well why not I'll maybe replace that big long one with this one let's see how that goes doesn't have to be that long and I do know that won't be the first time where I've had to redo something so uh, it's just part of the game over the years I've done it and redone it and changed it and come back and manage to get it to work eventually See, I'll have to take this apart later and adjust the let's see that's up in the air quite a bit so that won't work I have to get that lined up otherwise it's going to be putting pressure on the Slider valve, I think. That may not hurt though. We'll see. 
If I have to take it off, then I'll just have to take it off and bend that a little bit to make it line up. But for now, we'll have to see if it goes or not. just right too. And the right distance. These, these holes are supposed to line up with the hole in the top of here, which, let's see, when it's in this position, let's see, get that around there further, that position there. should be in the center, roughly. To block off the hole. Yeah, I think about right there. Nope, not far enough. That looks pretty good for distance. Oh, got to get it in there though now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Isn't that sitting? Well, can back this off. Be the other nut where it's at, so then I can still get it in there. lined up. There. There's always more more than one way to do this stuff. As long as that's not too tight. set a little bit too too tight in there. Have to back it off a hair. I may find out after a while that I'm going to have to redo these, or not this maybe, but actually the slider valve with the two holes in it, so that it's longer and it won't hit the end of the nut whenever it 
it rotates. It's still hitting it, so I'm going to have to loosen it up a little more. That's how it goes. You, you fix it, you try it, you fix it, and you try it again, and then you see where it's at. If it's not right, you have to fix it. That's why a lot of times it takes <laughs> quite a while between my videos trying to get everything worked out. But eventually I do. Okay, that should be... Yeah, that'll work now. As you can see. And that's how the one-cylinder engine would work. As soon as I get two more of the of this set up and attach it to these two positions, then that'll be the full three-cylinder. In order for this to work, it has to be set so that the valve is it's in this position here when the cylinder is at top dead center. And as it goes around. flywheel on the back is just a balancer. Really. I'm going to have to fix that because now it's not balanced and I'm afraid it's going to vibrate whenever it's rotating. So I'll have to drill holes or whatever in this to get it so that it st stops and stays in any position without moving, then it'd be balanced. So, for now that's this video and <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching. It wasn't much fun, was it? But anyway. Well, thanks for checking in with me and for any new subscribers, or anyone who's been watching the video, I hope you got a little insight on what I'm doing. Uh, I have another 39 or 40 something videos on my channel at Air Engine Research, if you'd like to check in. And for my regular subscribers, I'll see you next time around. It won't be too long, hopefully. So, till then, bye.